We're in southern Laporte County in a, um, the same field that we were in, uh, in during an earlier video that was taken in early July. And in that field at the time, we had about 20% of plants with western bean cutworm egg masses on them. And that number was rising because we were still in the midst of the flight. The Shortly flight. after we were there, in mid-July, a pyrethroid insecticide was applied to this field uh, using a ground sprayer. And we thought it would be interesting to come back in here and see what kind of damage we might have. Some evidence the larvae were here. There are a couple of old empty egg masses and there's a little bit of leaf feeding as well, uh, which as you'll recall is what the larvae do right in those, the first and second instar before they make it to the, uh, to the silks and eventually to the ears. This field is a good uh, uh, testimony to the power of scouting for this insect at the appropriate time. Uh, we scouted, uh, it was over threshold, a treatment was applied shortly after, and was very effective. We have uh, very little damage in here, actually no damage that we found uh, from western bean cutworm after looking at about a hundred years. Scouting is an effective way of preventing damage. Scouting followed by timely application of pyrethroids where appropriate. Uh, this is field is another story. Uh, this is refuge corn, uh, part of a BT uh, planting. And this field was treated quite late, uh, well after pollination, standing in an area where virtually every ear has some sign of western bean cutworm feeding damage. Caterpillars, for the most part, have gone and uh, are not to be found. There are a couple still around, but the, for the most part, the uh, damage has been done and the caterpillars have moved on. But what this shows is the importance of timing in applying these insecticides. You can also see that are, there are various fungal pathogens that have moved in here, opportunistic fungi of various types. Feeding of the western bean cutworm provides an entry point uh, for, some of these, so for some of these fungi to get in. The message here is that although insecticides can work and work very well, the timing is critical. Missing the window means that there's little utility in applying insecticides at that point. Uh, the scouting has to be combined with timely application of insecticide in order to control western bean cutworm. 